In this video, I'm putting this new Roblox AI tool to the test. We're going to see if it can recreate the hit Roblox game Steal a Brain Rod in only 24 hours. And no, we're not using Claude AI or ChatGPT. In this video, we're going to be using Lemonade AI. Before I explain to you guys what makes Lemonade AI different than ChatGPT or Claude AI, I want to go over some of the ground rules for this challenge. 1. Lemonade AI does all the scripting. I cannot modify anything about the scripts at all. 2. I'm only allowed to build and reference models and parts to the AI. That's it. And three, I only have 24 hours to complete this challenge. Alright guys, well the first thing we have to do is actually link our game in Roblox with the Lemonade AI software. As you guys can see, we have the Lemonade plugin already installed into Roblox, so all we have to do is make a new project in the Lemonade website. So I'm going to press new project and name our project steal a brain rot, there we go, and we're in. The next thing we got to do is just press connect and should, there we go, we're connected, let's go. And for those of you who are still confused as to what Lemonade AI does, it's basically an AI website that lets you connect your Roblox project to it. You can use your prompt to create scripts and the website will directly connect your roblox game and add all the changes for you so you don't have to copy and paste anything anyways the rules are pretty simple we can't add any scripts and that's only for lemonade ai to do the only thing we're allowed to do is build so let's set up some plots all right this is what we got so far uh <laughs> and then i created five more plots so in total we have six and then i created a simple folder structure with plot one two three four five and six okay awesome now we have six plots ready to go for lemonade ai to do its thing the first thing that i'm going to ask ai to do is create us a plot system so any player that joins will be assigned the plot going from one through six and then on top of that we're going to ask lemonade to make it so that each plot has a billboard gui that displays the name of the owner then i'm going to send over this prompt and dude that was quick let's go check if this works okay so it was a success because if we go into server script service you can see that there's a new script in here that we didn't even have to create it did this for us which is the even crazier part and if we look over the code here it does seem like there's something going on here let's go test the game and see if it works okay so we're in and let's look around for a name above the plots and oh there it is yeah it worked look at that as you can see it says daniel 47450's plot and it has our avatar just like we asked for now i want to add the laser doors that all the plots have in steal a brain rot so i'm just going to put this activation part in each plot folder and then i'm going to make a set of laser doors for each plot and bam there we go all the plots have laser doors on them now and then of course we're going to do the same exact thing and then type up a prompt so that it can script the laser door mechanic for us i sent over the prompt and let's hope for the best and so now if we test and activate the laser door as you can see it works perfectly and then i told lemonade ai to set us up a gui so that we can track how much time we have until our lasers are going to drop and so now when we activate the lasers it actually tells us how much time we have until the lasers are going to disappear again then i found this brain rot asset pack that i'm going to use for the game i don't really know if these are accurate to the actual game since i don't play steal a brain rot but i'm guessing like 80 percent of these are accurate and if they're not just leave a comment like go flame me i don't really <laughs> i'm about to ask a lot from lemonade ai so hopefully it's going to be able to do everything we ask for. Okay, I just sent over the new prompt. Hopefully Lemonade is able to do this for us. But basically all I did was set up two new parts called conveyor start and one called conveyor end. All brain rots are going to spawn over here. Once they spawn in, they're going to pathfind all the way down here. And when they touch this part, it's going to destroy them. And this is going to create the gameplay loop that steal a brain rot has where you can buy and steal brain rots from the center all while new ones are being generated. If we look over in Lemonade, as you can see, it's actually working on the task right now. And dude, to be honest, this is really incredible how we're just able to type whatever we want and get full entire systems back lemonade is awesome yes let's go it worked i'm so happy bro this looks so good i then set up the areas where the brain rots will go to when you collect them then i made some pads and then i went to sleep for the night I just asked Lemonade AI to make it so that players money save and as well as their brain rot so when they join it all gets loaded in. And as you guys can see, it's actually creating them right now and we can actually see what it's doing in real time. Alright, so we're gonna buy this brain rot real quick. It goes over to the pad, it starts making money. And if I just leave the game real quick and then I join back, there we go. They load in properly and the money that they had in before saves. I also realized that I don't need all the plots yet. We can just have one for now and then we can just copy and paste it much later. That way we don't have to copy and paste a bunch of stuff while we're still working on it i also don't really know what the base looks like but i'm gonna go with this photo that i found on google and i'm gonna try to recreate this real quick yo why did this actually look like steal a brain rot what the hell <laughs> 
Anyways, I was successful in building the base for Steel of Brain Rot. Uh, it might look a little off, but yeah, you know, I can't really build it the exact same way. But yeah, I tried my best with this. I'm also just going to make the base plate green as well. Okay, and so now I want to make a pathway for the Brain Rots to walk on. All I'm going to do is take this part, stretch it out like this. And then I'm putting the conveyor start part right here and then the conveyor end part right at the end here. Yep, pretty tough. All right, and as we test, as you can see, it looks pretty good. We have our base full of Brain Rots and the conveyor belt is pushing out new Brain Rots every single second but there's a slight issue if you couldn't tell already our plot is full and that means we can't actually get any more brain rots into our base and if we go into our base there's actually no way to get rid of these yet you can see that there's a prompt that says sell but if i use it nothing actually happens also all our brain rots are free right now and that means you can progress pretty quickly so what we need to do is make it so that each brain rot has a certain price and so that you can sell it for half the price you bought it for in your base if you want to get rid of them all i have to do is tell limited ai to add a worth value to the module scripts that handles all the brain rots then i'm also we're gonna try and sell this brain rot right here so let's hold on to the proximity prompt oh and boom it worked he's gone all right and then all we have to do now is try to buy a new one we're gonna buy this brain rot right here it works all right as you can see we just bought that brain rot and it works really well now so i'm really happy that that works but there is an issue because there is still no price tag above the heads of the brain rots so we really still don't know how much we're buying it for all right lemonade gave us the fix and hopefully this should work and perfect it works lemonade was able to lock in and fix the problem so now there's a price tag above each brain rot the next thing that i want to add is stealing so what we're going to do is duplicate this plot just like this and then we're going to rename it to plot two and then over in Lemonade AI, I'm going to ask it to make us the stealing. I don't really know how this is going to turn out. I'm kind of nervous, but hopefully this works. All right, so I got two clients open up in Roblox Studio right now. This is player one's base, but I'm player two. So I'm going into player's one base right now. And as you can see, if I go up to his brain rot, I can steal it. Here we are. Let's hold E on our keyboard. And yes, it works. So now we can actually bring it over. Oh, something, something just happened. Okay, there seems to be a bug. We can't move right now when we're stealing, and this is an issue because, uh, yeah, we can't, we need to be able to move to steal. So let's go over into Lemonade AI and have it fix this problem for us. All right, so let's try that again. Let's go over to Player One's base and try to steal their brain rot. As you can see, now we can walk around freely and we shouldn't get stuck anymore. Yep, there we go. We got out the base and let's return it to our base. The only problem now is that if someone were to steal something from you, there's no way to actually defend it. So let's add the bat from Steal a Brain Rot, which allows us to hit players and ragdoll them if you hit them. Okay, and all I did was tell Lemonade to add a bat tool, which can be used to hit a player. It'll ragdoll them, and it can also be used to hit a player who was stealing a brain rot. All right, so we got the bat tool here, and we have player one over here. We're going to smack him with the bat and see if he ragdolls. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and steal a brain rot real quick. I'm gonna steal this guy right here. Okay, here we are back into player one. We're gonna hit player two and see if it brings the brain rot back to the base. Okay, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> All right, so to test this out, if this works, we have player two. He's currently stealing a brain rot. We're gonna hit him with our bat and it should return the brain rot back. Yes, it worked. As you can see, it brought the brain rot back to the base. We also added an arm swing animation, but it's kind of messed up, so I'm gonna have it remove it. <laughs> and I replaced that with this really goofy sword animation. Don't ask, okay? Don't ask. And there we go. When we play and we left click with our bat, it properly swings the bat, and it looks pretty nice. Now that we've got all the systems in place, it's time to build a map, so enjoy the montage. <music> The next thing I'm gonna do is look for some sound effects because right now our game has no sounds at all. The first sound effect we're gonna look for is a money sound. And this one's pretty good, so we'll use this one. We also need a sound effect for whenever a proximity prompt is used. I think this one's pretty good. And then the last thing we need is just a song for the game. And we're gonna use the very generic brain rot song and it's this one. And so now when we play the game, it feels really polished. There's music playing and there's sound effects. And wow, 22 hours and we made this. And since I appreciate every single one of you guys, I'm making this game file free for everyone. All you have to do is join my Discord server and there's a channel where you can download it for free. Huge shout out to all my channel members on screen. You guys are the best. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Okay, bye. Please subscribe.